Hi guys, it's been a long time since I've posted a Lightway video, so I figured, eh, I'd give you a Lightway video. Uh, this is kind of based off a project I worked on, and still working on, earlier this year. Um, basically, I had this uh, kind of cartoony thing, and I wanted to do a some something that kind of pays homage to um, the cartoons of the 80s, one of which being the uh, G.I. Joe cartoon, and I based kind of like this uh, base off of G.I. Joe. Now this, uh, what I have here in the window in Lightwave is not what I did on the project for work. This is just kind of something I mocked up really quickly tonight just so that I have something to show. So as you can see, very simple geometry. So let's go back to our camera view and we have this kind of view here and we have this and if I pop back into VPR you can see, there we go, we have uh, some just some basic geometry uh, with some textures on it. And these textures have nothing to do with this model. I just wanted to have some line work on there, so I borrowed something from another project and uh, some other texture as well to kind of simulate the brushes. But one thing I noticed in the um, cartoon that I don't have on this model here at this point is that you see on the top of here, we have like these nice little rim lights where they just kind of like took a paintbrush and just kind of like kind of highlighted the areas and um in my version i do have other lines down here in the cartoon they don't have like these cell lines these edges uh, but i wanted to to come up with a way to do like these little highlights here and i couldn't think of how to do that without actually going in and painting them and even then when you paint on the stuff um it's a 3d object it doesn't have uh, like you know it'd be a really sharp edge you won't necessarily get the thickness of the line that you want. Then I thought, hey, I have edges. Why don't I use edges? So I did something similar to this. I don't know if I did this exactly. But uh, if you go to uh, Layers and you go to Scalar Layer and you create a, um, a gradient in here. And there are other ways to do this. Like I said, I'm not sure I did it exactly this way because it's been a while since I worked on the model. Uh, let's say I go to the gradient layer. I add black in here. And I set the input parameter to light incidence, and I select the sunlight light that I made. And there we have our basic, uh, what this does is, um, it, if I plug this into the color of the uh, edges, you'll see I'm getting um, getting some highlights. Let's see where where this goes. So now we have our, our the tops of our lights uh, highlighted. I could also do this according to uh, uh, slope would also work as well. Um, there's uh, our basic highlights. And if we wanted to get rid of these other lines that have this other gradient here, just a regular gradient, not inside of layers. And this is just based on slope. And this is a uh, white at the top and black down here. And I have the blending mode set to multiply so that uh, at this point where it goes to black, it will actually shrink the lines to zero. So if I go out of the turbulence texture and into the taper, you'll see we lose our lines. Now we do have a little bit here because I kind of wanted to have a little bit. But uh, if I pull that up there, it's not perfect. Like I'm missing a couple of things, but... That's kind of why I went down here, but anyway, I just wanted to point out that you can actually change the uh, color of your texture or of your edges to provide different effects that you might not normally, uh, you know, might not normally think of. You can also even just go into, uh, say, the Lambert Diffuse, and this is our shading uh, based on our lighting and the uh, textures and stuff, or the... Um, I guess the diffusion of things. I can plug that into color too. And let's see what happens when I rotate the lights around. I think this may be the way I did it in the actual project, but uh, it wasn't quite working out so well in this demo. So I might need to invert it. That might be the issue. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, point out this uh, possible use of edges that is not necessarily obvious. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.